The Hermes bag drop and all its secrets unlocked. Today I'm going to discuss four main topics including the time, tips, limitations, and the psychology behind the Hermes bag drop. It is going to be a longer video today. We're looking at around seven minutes so buckle up, get some tea, save this for later if you can't watch it right now because this is where you're going to get all the Hermes tea. I've spent hundreds of hours on the website and all of these photos in the background that I'm showing you are from recent Hermes bag drops, so I'd say I'm pretty versed in the subject. So let's talk about our first topic, the time. But you are gonna wanna stick around for the next topic, tips, because you can't get the bags even if you are on time without using the tips that I'm going to provide. Every day there is generally an Hermes bag drop and that bag drop happens anywhere from 11 a.m to 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. On some days, it even goes as late as 1, or there is the afternoon trickle, which there'll be a huge drop around 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So it's a good idea to stay on the website, stay active on it, make sure you stay logged in, and keep refreshing those pages because at any time during those time periods, there might be a bag drop. Um, not only do bags drop, but other things like rod rodeos, um, Chipra sandals, um, and other exclusive items, small leather goods, the Constance to go, the Kellys to go. So a lot of those items will drop around that same time. Generally, there's one large drop in the day, and that again will be 11 to 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're having a hard time converting that time, go into your phone settings, check the clock app, and see you know what the world clock says about the time differences from your location. In this video, I am specifically talking about North America, and as you can see in this video, I have been highly successful in getting these bags in cart this day i had 21 bags in my cart and i think the total was over one hundred and twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> what not even in my wildest dreams could i afford that that's absolutely insane and a house in most areas of the world so this is actually going to take me into the next topic tips but you're going to want to stick around for limitations because these tips won't work if you don't follow the limitations as I'm sure you all are very aware, the bags sell out on the website generally within 30 seconds to five minutes, depending on you know how many people are active that day, how many people are trying to buy, and what bags are available. More highly popular bags will generally sell faster, so if you're looking for a Picatin, Constance to go, Kelly to go, um, the Hack a Dose, those things are a little bit harder to get. However, in this clip here, you can see that I got all four of those Hack a Doses in my cart. In my experience, the best way to actually get these bags into cart or to get them purchased is to, you know, be on the website exactly on time, make sure you refresh and go immediately to the bags that you want. Don't mess around, like don't hesitate. Get them in your cart and immediately check out if you do want to buy those bags. If you do get them into cart, I think you have maybe like 60 seconds to check out. So it's whoever's fastest. Another um, tip that I like to use too is set up your Apple Pay. Set up your Apple Pay as a associates with your account and make sure that you click into something else like before the backdrop happens so that you will already have like your user settings cleared there'll be a little uh, pop-up box that you can click and it'll be like okay you accept the terms and conditions of Hermes so if you click that box ahead of time once you click on an item it'll immediately bring up your Apple Pay so that you can purchase it immediately and it'll run you through the prompt and it'll go straight to your shipping address etc. You can also set up a, like a search within your search bar where you can just copy and paste what exactly you're looking for. So when the Hermes bag drop does drop, you can just quickly search it and get directly to the item that you're looking for. There is no way to predict exactly when these bags will drop on any given day. And some days you will get 90 bags and some days you'll get five, but it all is just luck. So you have to just get out there and, you know, try your best and follow these next limitations that I'm going to share with you. You are going to want to stick around for the psychology because these limitations lend to that. And I think it's important to understand the psychology of the Hermes game and how this is an extension of it before you decide to play it. As you might imagine, it's Hermes, so there is going to be some limitations on these bags and how many you can purchase, where you can purchase them from, and like what kind of skins you can order. 
It has been rumored but not confirmed that you can only purchase two non-quota bags from the website per year um, based on some recent accounts that I've been seeing in some Hermes forums um, and orders getting canceled. So be cognizant of that. It was recently enacted, so if you have already purchased two bags, you might not be able to get any more. If you're dreaming of an exotic piece and live in California, that is not going to be a reality for you because um, California restricts the import and export of all exotic leathers. You could, however, potentially ship those bags to a friend or a family member in a different state that doesn't have similar restrictions and then just drive them in because you as a personal consumer can transport them in. It's just the sale and export of exotic leathers. And my final limitation will be regarding your country of origin. So wherever you're living, you have to purchase that bag within the country that you're living unless you have a bank account and an address within the country of purchase. For instance, if you are living in Dubai and you want to purchase off the American Hermes bag drop, unless you have an American bank account and an American address that would associate to that Hermes account, you cannot make that purchase. And for my last topic, I want to talk about the Hermes bag drop and how it's an extension of the Hermes game. A lot of people refer to the Hermes game as their journey to, you know, get their quota bag and so on and so forth. But there is a significant like psychology behind this because people get, are denied these bags so often that they get what's called the pretty woman effect. This effect is unique to aspirational brands like Hermes and would not necessarily apply to brands like Target or Gap. Like if somebody has a negative experience there, it's not likely to experience it to impact their spending levels. However, at Hermes, they are trained to deny you and to make these bags so aspirational to help keep the value and things like that, but it's also to keep you out of the game unless you prove it with your cash dollars. So buying into these brands will keep you poor. You might be chic and timeless and have a really nice quality bag, but you know what? At the end of the day, it is just a bag, and if this whole process is too much for you, then don't even worry about it, babe, because there's lots of beautiful bags out there.